Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to remove the anchor link hash at the end of the URL when loading a new page. In the last hack, we focused on anchor scrolling inside the same page and actively removing the hash and anchor link at the end of the URL in the same page. This is when you are loading a new page, scrolling to a section on that new page, and you still want that anchor link hash symbol removed from the URL. It's really simple, just a few lines of code. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we're going to see how we remove the hash symbol when navigating to a new page. Check out this link. Look at the bottom left here. We're going to finsweethacks.com slash success slash 16 hash content. So we're going to scroll to the content section of the page, but look at the URL up on top, how it flashes content and then it removes the content hash from the URL. So I'm going to go and navigate to the success page and we've removed it. Let's go and navigate back to the main hacks page and look how it's going to the content section of the page. So check it out, I'm up here on top. It's going to go to the success page. We're scrolling down to the content section of the success page and going back and doing the same thing to the hacks page. Perfect. And now we have a nice clean URL for people to copy, paste, and look at. In designer, we don't have much structure to set up. This hack is all about section scrolling, anchor link scrolling. So of course, on whatever page you're navigating to, you're going to have an ID placed on some element on the page. In this example, we have our hack 16 anchor section and the key component of this is ID content. And that is how we're able to scroll to this section when we click through from a link on another page. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. There's a very important part of this script that we need in order for this hack to work. And it's the set timeout right here. What is set timeout? It's telling the script, it's telling the website to wait a second, or in this case, wait five milliseconds before running this code. If we don't set a timeout and we just run this code, the hack is not going to work. And the reason is we need the page to recognize that there is a hash and an anchor link scroll before we remove the anchor link from the URL. If we just remove the anchor link right on load, it's not going to know to scroll to that section, to scroll to our content section before removing the link. So we're going to set our timeout. We're going to allow the anchor link to do what it needs to do. And we're going to wait five milliseconds. And after those five milliseconds, we're going to use the HTML5 history API to manipulate the location bar. And that's going to take the hash symbol. It's going to take that anchor link and remove it from the URL. We see this in the previous hack as running every time we click a button. This is going to happen automatically when we load the page. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.